Hello guys and welcome here in our channel and in this episode I will be sharing to you on how to create a frequency distribution table using Python and in our previous uh, episode we discussed the different techniques no, on how to uh, collect data and the after we collect our data the next steps we are, uh, is we are going to organize it uh, into a graph no, into a table um, so the 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 types of data uh, we have quantitative we have qualitative data and it is very important uh, to know now uh, uh, what particular type of uh, table or uh, graph uh, is the qualitative data um, being organized or a quantitative data uh, being organized okay so to start with uh, allow me first to show the uh, file no? uh, I assume here a, uh, I, I have here a hypothetical uh, data set uh, table 1 okay which is located here no? in the directory uh, uh, drive e uh, the subfolder Python the file name is table 1 okay and uh, to do that or to create a frequency distribution table for qualitative data uh, this uh, we have to uh, import first uh, import pandas as pd and then we have to import also our uh, file okay so to do that we just create a variable name let's say uh, assume this is a variable data one and then we are just uh, uh, importing our file to python just call it pd dot read underscore excel and the file uh, the location of our file okay and then yeah run it and suppose we are going to uh, we are interested to know the 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 uh, um, entry no of our file so we have to check it uh, just uh, run this one okay so yeah, when you click run so it will uh, display to us the uh, content of our file table one okay so we have category column and we have count and this uh, in this presentation i will be using this category column since this is a qualitative uh, uh, in nature so i am going to uh, organize this column into table okay we call it the simple frequency distribution table so to do that we just uh, type this uh, uh, command so uh, here I will uh, create another variable say table is equal to pd dot first tab uh, yeah, first tab the uh, variable table we have this index of data one from data one and then I will uh, uh, create a cross tabulation of the column category and then we will create another column which is a frequency so when you uh, run it okay so when you run it the output is this uh, column okay so we have now our simple frequency distribution table so if we want to add another column so if you want to uh, calculate the percentage no yeah, in each category so we just simply type this uh, um, command no? from the variable uh, new variable table we add the column percent and then we just divide it at times 100 right? okay so that is the formula when we calculate the percentage is equal to frequency over total frequency times 100 and when you run this one okay so when you run it So when you run, uh, sorry. Wait. So when you run this one, okay. Oh. Table frequency. Okay, run, and then. Oh, what happened? I think not enough. 
Oh, yes. Okay. So we have now the present page. Okay. And next is we are going to append our uh, column. So we are going to add total here. And the total is uh, 30 and 100 percent. Okay. So the total here is 30 and 100. Okay. So that is how to create a simple frequency distribution table using Python huh? in uh, uh, qualitative data. So how about if you have quantitative data and then we're going to organize it into group frequency distribution table. So in this uh, group frequency distribution table, I will be uh, showing to you the uh, on how to create um, class interval and how to create uh, frequency and the cumulative frequency also uh, in a group frequency distribution table. So again, um, I have another uh, data and this is what they call distance okay so this is the file name from this uh, directory and again i will import that data into python so i call it variable data2 and variable data2 and this is the file okay location of my file and then as uh, um, if you want to uh, um, if you want to uh, know the look content no? okay so just uh, type data to head and then we have this uh, type okay so we are going to increase it so for example uh, 15 uh, rows okay so it will display the 15 rows okay so the, the column is distance and this is uh, a data a ratio data so we have to organize this and this is quantitative so we have we're going to create a group frequency distribution table. And this is, there are 40 observations no? in this example. Uh, there are 40 observations. Okay, um, this is an example no? uh, in, in the, our, in, uh, in the, the uh, in the uh, file, the distance file. No? There are 14, uh, uh, 40. There are 40 observations. Okay. And to create a uh, class interval, so we are going to assign um, class interval from 0 to 7, 7 to 14, uh, then 21, 28, 35 to 42. So we have 1 to 7, 8 to 14, 15 to 21, 20 to 28, 29, 35, 36 to 42. And these are actually uh, obtained you know, from the illustration in my uh, blogspot you know, that com uh, the, the frequency distribution table uh, so uh, how to create now the, the, the frequency table with this uh, uh, variables you know, with this uh, beans and levels so we have to create another column from this uh, table so we have to add distance uh, bracket no? or category and uh, that's the beans and then we type this command pd that cut of data to and then from the variable distance with parameters beans and levels which is equal to tables and then if you're going to run it okay so we have here the the, the column distance bracket so now we are going to create a class interval or a group frequency distribution table of uh, this column distance bracket now. So we have to identify how many uh, um, people, no? for example, uh, travel with distance from one to seven uh, kilometers. Okay. So we have this command. We type, uh, let's say, a variable table2 is equal to pd.crustab index equals data2 from this, from the previous variable uh, data2. Data and then we are going to uh, create a distance bracket uh, with frequency. 
as our uh, occurrence or counts in each uh, bracket. Okay, so once you run it, okay, it will uh, display with this uh, the table. Okay, so now if you add the cumulative frequency no, of the uh, table, you just type this uh, command, no, the list than cumulative frequency. In table 2, you add the cumulative frequency list than is equal to table 2 of the frequency times the cumulative sum. Or any, uh, cumulative frequency, you are going to uh, add the frequency successively. So from the lowest, since this is the uh, lowest class limit or class interval, so you start here, 12 plus 11 plus 9 plus 5 plus 2 and uh, plus 1. So that's how to construct frequency distribution uh, less than cumulative frequency uh, column. So after we create table 2, uh, uh, type this command and when you run it and then run table 2. So when you run here, then run table 2, okay, so we have here the cumulative frequency. And this is the cumulative frequency this time. So that would be all. And I hope uh, you learned something in this uh, um, presentation, in this episode. And of course, um, if you like this uh, video, don't forget to subscribe our channel. And of course, share this to uh, others.